Welcome to a video on a calculation that might surprise you. We will also take a look at a proof of why the result is always the same. To begin, step one is to think of a three digit number with all the digits the same. Two examples would be 444 or 777. Step two, add the digits of the three digit number. So for 444, we would have four plus four plus four, which equals 12. For 777, we would have seven plus seven plus seven equals 21. Step three, divide the three digit number from step one by the sum of the digits from step two, which means for 444, we would have 444 divided by 12. For 777, we would have 777 divided by 21. And now, regardless of what three digit number you began with, the answer is always 37. Let's take a look at why the answer is always 37. Step one was to think of a three digit number with all the digits the same. Because the digits are unknown, but all the same, we could say the three digit number has a Z in the hundreds, a Z in the tens, and a Z in the ones. And therefore we could also express the three digit number as 100 times Z plus 10 times Z plus Z, which is equal to 111 Z. Step two, add the digits of the three digit number. And because all three digits are Z, we would have Z plus Z plus Z, which equals three Z. And then finally step three was to divide the three digit number from step one by the sum of the digits from step two, which in our case is 111Z divided by three Z. And we can simplify this fraction because 111 is equal to three times 37 and in this form, three divided by three is equal to one, and so is z divided by z, and notice how the result is always 37. Thank you for watching.